What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? We're tuning in for another video, man. Cuzzo pulled up on me. Been letting shake down. Boom. Big Dolo. He gonna have that coming on his channel. Uh, and man, I don't know, man. We might. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how he do with 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 uh Dolo. And then, shoot, man. I might. I might go on out there beside Cuzzo and old Nana right here, man. Nana right here. Give y'all a little GoPro view or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what to it. But y'all gotta check that out, man. He finna, he finna get some uh some practice. Cuzzo, oh, how you think you gonna do on your first your first run, man? Cause you on hard tie race, man. Like Cuzzo, Cuzzo on hard tie race. He fresh to hard tie race. Yeah, I'm fresh to hard tie race. So if y'all seen what happened at, at, uh, at track with R and B. I'm, oh yeah, I'm on the race. Right. Hey, I'm going off that right <laughs> now. So. Uh, Y'all, yeah, gonna be, hey, stay tuned, man. Hey, man, y'all know Cuzzo got heavy foot, boy. <laughs> hey, but he do know, he done drove the car, so he know kind of how it act, like, on the rim. He know the joke of bliss of the tire, so can't just, he already know you can't just stab it, obviously. Because it will bliss of the tire. But if he get it, they do what it do, see, that joke gonna go. That joke gonna go. But the only reason I said uh, we might... Y'all might see it. If y'all see it, y'all see the thumbnail. If, if we do it. Because y'all know I already showed y'all what R and B do. I mean not R and B. Grandma Nana. But with hard time racing, the times and stuff so inconsistent. So you really won't know what either one ran to be. I'm just being real, but y'all can see. Cause y'all saw uh y'all saw the other vlog while I testing this joke. The times are inconsistent, man. Like you don't know what you're gonna get with hard time. Like you really don't know until you just completely die your car in, but this one, R&B is the more, the most dialed in car on the hard tie, really. I'm working with this one. I'm working with this one just because y'all know I'm not really trying to seriously rate this, but I'm working with this one. But R&B on a on a wheel, the more consistent. But I might have that video coming for y'all soon when it come back. When it come back home, man. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the cutlery rally, man. I have never had that car on cutlery rally since since I changed the setup. So. We finna crank this nag up and um bag it up and shoot man. See what it do, man. I'm finna go catch the footy for Cuzzo, so y'all stay tuned. Alright, we're taking in, taking in, man. So look, Cuzzo just made made the hit. Uh y'all check that out on their channel. Then we were talking about it. I said, look. He said, man, I ain't even drove this one. I said, yeah, you know what? You're right. They the only one he ain't drove. Nana. Grandma Nana. So I said, why not, man? You gotta shake that one down too. Shake that one down too, man. It's some hard type practice. So uh yeah, man, gonna take it out, do that, and who knows whatever we're gonna get into, man. Who knows, man? So yeah, man, y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna turn y'all on in a minute. <laughs> what kind of time you think you finna do anything, man? They already know where to run anyway. You think you gonna hit the eights in it? You know, look, you know, it needs a hard time. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna show y'all on my vlog whether y'all gonna see the outside pads on here, but I'm gonna show y'all the the, uh, the time. On, on hey, what he do. I think I'm gonna do. Oh, I tell y'all the time. Whatever. I'll show y'all the ticket on my vlog. About, about an 860. 860? About an 860. He said he gonna go 860, boy. He go 860. I'm gonna be geek. I'm gonna be geek. He go 860. Yeah, about an 860. Hey, when, when, when the, you ain't gonna meet no getting. When, when the last time you sit there on the collar, man? It been a year. Oh, you, might be, you might be a little rusty. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Oh, man. Hey, you might be a little rusty. Oh, you know, you got to be gentle. You got to treat that like a woman. See, <laughs> <laughs> see an old lady, man. Hey, man. Don't want to talk about well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, about nine, the first pass. The nine. 
Oh. Uh, I don't know, man. I tell y'all what we're gonna do. Look, so for y'all to figure it out, so we're gonna put the ticket. He gonna the first pad gonna be on his vlog. The second pad y'all gonna see here. So you gonna have to see did he accomplish his goal. He gonna make two. I'm gonna let y'all see the second one. But the first one gonna be on here. So y'all got y'all got to let it let it see. Or we might switch it up. I might have the first pad. He might have the second pad. We don't know. But uh, man, we finna go get this done for y'all before the sun go down. Y'all see it already on on his descent. So uh, we're gonna turn y'all on in a minute. All right, y'all. Just getting back. Y'all saw, y'all saw Cuzzo pad, man. Cuzzo ran about a 15, man. Cuzzo ran a 1530. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what it ran. I ain't seen it at this time. I ain't seen it. But man, hey, Cuzzo, what you ran about a 1530? Well, I ran about a 20. <laughs> that man, that man. I said, what the man doing? <laughs> I said, man, what you what you doing, man? man what you took man, off and drive? That bad boy skipped more time. Perfect phone. That was it. Y'all y'all gotta see the first one. He got the first one on his vlog, man. The second one. The second one, the one y'all just saw. I said, man, I don't know if this man went went left and drive or what. I said this man went by the 1530, y'all. <laughs> hey. Hey man. But uh, yeah, man, y'all seen Cuzzo make that hit. Uh, gonna cover these nags up. Gonna cover these nags up, man. And then uh, turn y'all back on so y'all stay tuned. All right, we checking in, checking in, y'all. Uh, y'all see Cuzzo, Cuzzo, man. Uh, he he just now taking off, man. Another good day, good day chilling. This and that. This is our first time linking up of the year, man. <laughs> We had to get over these holiday stuff, man. Handle stuff, kids and all that. The family and all that stuff. But, uh, man, we had fun today. We had fun today. Then, cuz old y'all see, cuz old them made that pad, man. I think they just went 11 something. <laughs> it went 11, 11 something. But the ticket, the ticket thing, it didn't, it didn't save, the, the, it didn't save in the drag. It just had it like on the main screen. I couldn't show y'all. But it had so many other numbers where, you know, that came from where he was just driving around with like it thinking it in the dragon thinking he done made a pass stuff. So it was eleven something though. Eleven something. But y'all gotta see his pass. His, his pass, the pass that that on his vlog is a lot better. And old Nano will move. Nano will move some. Nano will move some, man, but like I said, Cuzzo got that on here. He made two different hits. Uh, Y'all saw the one I put up. But, uh, man, that's why I say I got I said, Cuzzo, man, I thought he ran, but he ran about a 15, boy. But he, he, he ran 11 or something. But that hard time, hard time racing, man, hard time racing, it really is different. Like, it's it different, man. It's it's uh, it's tricky. It, it's a lot, of, a lot of factors and variables going to it. And if you want to do hard time racing, uh, it, the more contact you got, car got full on again, man. I got, I got. When I take this stuff off, man, I'm gonna I'm format the car so it'll be fresh and stop filling up. But um, like I was saying, man, you want the most meat on the ground possible, man. When you got hard tire, or uh, the wider the better. Or uh, trying to get it done on a slim tire, like I said, like with, with Grandma Nana on a true factory tire. That joke was slim, but that joke was like this. It hard. It takes some skill. I, I'm. I'm thoroughly impressed at what that car will do though on a hard tire. Just alone. I ain't, I'm talking about the factory shocks from 1984 on there. The 1984 shocks on there. I looked on it. I said, look at this man, they're talking these some shock. The factory shocks on it, everything, man. I'm thoroughly impressed. So when we put them, when we put them them real shocks on there, they go gonna improve, man. You can get some adjustability and stuff. But man, I told Cuzzo, I said, hey man, you got you gotta come back, man. You got he gotta come back and redeem himself, man. He got to at least lay down a better a better ticket than what he put down on mine. I ain't gonna say what he did on here. But y'all y'all go go check it out whenever he drop it, man. But uh like I said, all in all good time. It was fun today. Let let Cuzzo push push Grandma Nana. He has now driven everything in the fleet. 
Yeah, he done drove everything. Yeah. Yeah, he done drove all of them. So, uh, like I said, it's a good, good, good time, man. It was a good time. Uh, like I said, it was fun. And then, uh, y'all saw, y'all saw too, something else. Had to, had to pull up, had to pull up on wifey, man. She had a, she had a predicament with, with him. <laughs> So I pulled up, I forgot on that happened day, I forgot I put that in there, but she pulled up, pulled up on wifey, man, we had to stop what we were doing, go, go, go make sure wife was straight, but she got, she got a vlog coming on there, she might already drop, she might already drop, man, that's a whole little, that's a whole little deal right there, but, <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah, it was a good day, man, it was a good day, anytime you're chilling with family, it's a good day, anytime you're having fun, it's a good time, that would be called for, they for having fun, not uh not getting serious, getting bent out of shape, man. Like y'all y'all would y'all would not realize how how serious people take their car stuff, man. They 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 take this stuff serious, man. Like people people really take their car stuff serious. Like that's all life about, man. It more than life than car, man. They ain't they ain't nothing but pieces of metal, these raggedy thing, man. I always me, me and little bro me and my little brother brother Cedro call them all the time. The 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 raggedy ass cars. Excuse my line, but that we call them, man. I mean, even if your car showroom car, that we call them, they rag that car. They just, they just pieces of metal, man. It just pieces of metal, materialistic stuff like this stuff we wear and all that. That stuff don't mean nothing. It don't, it don't mean nothing at the end of the day, man. The enjoyment, the enjoyment they bring, the fun times, the memories, like today. That's what these things about. These folk take this stuff entirely too serious. Tyler, that's why I, I made a post on Facebook re, uh, recently. If you're on my Facebook, you saw it. I said I hate the car game, man. I hate, I hate the the new wave of the, in, the, in this car game. Everything you got to have this. Everything judgmental, man. Y'all know how much static I get. What? Listen about the brakes. What? <laughs> the brake? Why you got drawn brakes? Why? Hey, listen, man. I'm gonna have to do a breakdown on the mechanics, and I know it's gonna, uh, I know it's gonna create a huge debate, kind of. You gonna have brake experts pop up. They just listen. The way I roll with anything in life, I say if it works, cool. Some stuff work better. Some stuff don't. Some stuff just works. If it works, cool. If I'm a, if I'm on the track, if I'm on the track, I run it, I run it headhunters dragway. Headhunters dragway is the shortest stopping distance out of all tracks that I run it. I'm just I'm just trying to think. Every the the shortest shutdown room is headhunters dragway. My car stops well before I get to the bottom because I think people see the drums on the higher power cars and. Listen, the drums are the eleven inch drums. They big. Them them joke are big. They, they was they was on a police car. They're not the nine and a half dr inch drums like a uh, R and B guy and stuff. And R and B a car like R and B, nine and a half is fine, man. It stops. It stops the car. Like uh <coughs> when you use a when you use a disc, I'm trying to think of the percentage. I can't think of the percentage. I'ma do the math. I'ma I'm do the math on this, man, Carl. I, I, I'ma get technical with it. I do facts. I do facts, man. I'ma get technical with it. But if it stops the car, fine. But then I, I, I hate the fact that if a man chooses or a woman to just paint their car and uh put some rims on it, and that's it. They don't want to touch the interior. Why your headliner dingy? They might not care about the headliner. They having fun with the car. Or like with us us car guys that like going fast, the cosmetics is the last thing on your list. Now, back when I first got in the car game, I was on being more being clean. And as long as it'll spin a tie. Now I'd rather go fast and just be decently clean. That's why people, when you gonna paint the cars? I paint my car when I want to. I put whatever I want on my car. That's why I don't I don't get people I'm like if you're not spending money in somebody's car, what difference do it make? All you get on the internet, all you see, people say, well, you put it on there for opinions. Hey, just because you drive up to a parking lot don't mean hey, you drive up for somebody to say something about your, about your car or your clothes. 
I done gave an example before. The car you go walk in the grocery store, don't and you in public don't mean somebody talk about your kids. The internet is a public domain. I don't know what people get this uh this thought process of if you put it on the internet, then you put it out there for people to talk about it. So that's just like saying if you walk out your door, you walk out your door for people to talk talk about you in your face. What you gonna do? Turn the other cheek. But if you get on the internet and you talk about it, that stuff bother you. The only which I don't get that when you get paid from it, that's when you should talk about it. If they talk shit on the internet, talk shit back. Especially if you monetize, that's when it makes sense. In real life, if you talk shit back, it's gonna lead to some physical. It's gonna get physical. For somebody that's about that, that's just point blank period. Some of that same stuff will get physical. So, but you ain't gonna get paid from it. You might get in some trouble, depending on the situation. If you defend yourself, you might get in some trouble. But on the internet, you're gonna get paid. Why should you not talk? And people, hey man, it bother you. It don't bother nobody. Some of us just know how to work the system. So I don't get it, man. We used to pull up at Stunt Sunday with Georgia Toy, Young Stunners, Old School Kings, uh, then it turned into Street Wheels, Stunt World. All of us used to hang out together. The guys with the show car clean, the Chevelles and uh, the donks and everything with the name brand rent wheels, the floaters, the sunnies and stuff that was in and all that. Custom interior on top of my frame off. Those same cars was in the parking lot with cars like Dolo. Well, Dolo need a paint job, but it got some pressure. It's just a, it's just an okay looking car on some rims. But got a expensive ass drivetrain. It was in the same parking lot with the prime down cars with just some wheels on it. That's a work in progress. But they, we still out here. They enjoying their cars. If my car ain't painted, I'm pulling up. You saw all this in the same parking lot. Everybody in the same circle tripping. The man with the show car, cool as a fan, man. He ain't tripping. Cause his pocket bigger than this person over here with the primer paint. They got a, it gonna take them a year to get their stuff in it. Everybody still politicking with everybody. My partner, Kerry. Oh, uh, shout out to Kerry, man. Uh, Kerry Ruffin. My boy, Kerry, man. They're like my family. Kerry had the uh, candy cobalt blue charger back in the day with the Lambo Dole sitting on the dub, the losing, the losing uh, floaters and stuff, man. Killing the charger game. He was killing the charger game back then with the RT. It's just facts. If you know the stunt man, they call him the stunt man charger, man. With blue and black, the thing. Uh, my boy uh, CJ over at CJ Customs painted. Man, show car, man. In the door, show them one hella trophy. Carry A. Hey, Carry A, you help me sell the DVD. My boy helped me sell the Stunner Die DVD. He put in money on it. He like, Jay, I got you. What I, how much I need to send? I'm going to help you print some up. Then my partner, man. I got big. I had all uh, meat. I had meats, man. Green, just a paint, just painting some rim and a little motor in it. When no one near clean the hill, man. We, hey Jay, we finna pull up at uh, we 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 finna pull up at the park, man. We finna pull up at Gresham. We finna pull up at uh, man, my mind went blank. Ah, we used to hit the park all the time. But my mind blank right now. But we we pulling up together, same line. He car clean, show car clean, but. These days, man, these new cats. Oh, you ain't got this. Your car half done. Your car did. And I be wanting to say, man, your motor half done. But I ain't that type of cat. They talk about cosmetics and stuff to people. When some of the same people can say, well, your car slow. Get your motor game up. Go spend some racks in your motor. Go spend some racks in, 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 in your transmission. This and that. But see, it don't supposed to be about that. It's supposed to be about love. A man might not want to touch his brakes. He might want factory brakes. A man might want factory interior. A man might not care about having name brand wheels. A man might not want a fast motor. They might want the stock black motor, black stock valve, uh, stock air cleaning all that. They might not want chrome valve covering all that. They might not want an LS swap. They might not want the big fabricated 9-inch rim or the big huge brakes. It shouldn't matter. You ain't spending no money in that person's car. It shouldn't matter. That's why I hate, I hate this new game. That's why I roll solo dolo. That's why I roll with my family. They won't be studying these folk. Cause they ain't, they ain't on nothing. They ain't on nothing, man. You pulling up and a grown man judging. Like these folk putting cars together. 
to to get approved from another grown man that they don't even know. Some cats on the end that they don't even know just to heal, man. Your, your junk tough. I put my car together for me. Everybody, why, why you ain't, when you gonna paint your car? I paint my car when I want to. Ain't no pressure on, on paint no car. Everybody that really know me know I can paint a car whenever. I can paint all of them at the same time if I want to. I'm just saying that because people be like, it like it's on pressure on When you gonna paint your car? I don't care about paint my car. I like my car running, going fast. That's what I like. I like the adrenaline rush. I just be a day, I be like, hey man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. That, that's, that's literally how it's gonna happen, for real. It's just gonna be a day, I'm gonna be like, well, I ain't got nothing else to do to the car. When we finna go ahead and get them paint. I don't really, I don't kill, man. Then I'm like, if the stuff work, cool. Like with my brakes. That's probably what I hear the most, brakes and paint. When you gonna paint some of these cars, do the interior? I'm like, I don't put together big rim cars. I'm not trying to win a car show. <laughs> I paint when I want to. I'm not trying to win a car show. I still get compliments when I go out. Get what? Oh, boy, that joke sound good. Boy, you got something in there. It ain't all about appearance, man. You can get a compliment on it. Oh, that's a nice looking car. I get complimented on my drivetrain, the work and blood, sweat, and tears and money I put into them drivetrain. Man, that car sound good, man. Boy, I, I like that. From old, young, man. What you got in there? White, black. That's that, that what I like. That's what I like. Hey. Then, like I said, you putting these car together for women. If you putting together for women, they look, man, they don't care nothing about all that. They don't care. They they gonna look at paint and rims. They're being real. Wife, mm -hmm. let me ask you something. Yeah. While, while I'm talking real quick before I close out, just keep it real. Yeah. All right. Now, when you when you was uh, let's say let's say in high school. Yeah. In high school, you figure stuff out. You know, you sing your day. When you was in high school and, you, and the cats had like the fixed up cars and stuff. Uh -huh. What caught your eye on a like a if an old car? Like what what caught your eye? Like what's the main thing you looked at on that car? Like if it rolled by or something, like what's the main thing that the features of the car? Like what what name two features that that caught your eye on an old car? Rims. Rims. And I'm trying to think what else. I don't know, just clean, like what the outside? It was mainly yeah. outside. The yeah. paint. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was looking for. I guess, yeah, that would be the. Yeah. Point, you know. Y'all heard? Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying from a woman, from a woman perspective. That's what I said. Cause I'm talking about how these folk be judging the cars, and you know they be trying to get approval from a man. Oh, yeah. But I'm saying if you, if you trying to get looks from a woman, what I'm trying to tell them, a woman not looking at. Oh, they ain't looking at. Oh, you got oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, your vents. If, oh, he got the chrome vents. They were not trying to tell him like a woman not looking at all that. They looking at yeah, paint and rims. At no, <laughs> paint and rims. Like a woman look at R&B, they be like, oh, they're clean. They ain't looking at, oh, he break dirty. <laughs> he, he got to stop breaks. They are not looking that hard. I promise you, brother. I've been in the game a long time. They ain't looking that hard. I'm just saying this for my brothers or my sisters. They're trying to do it for that. They ain't looking that hard. <laughs> and who cares? If you need approval from anybody, do your call for you, man. That's why I'm OG out here. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep preaching the gospel, the real gospel and stuff when it comes to stuff, regardless of who we want to hear tonight, who agree with it or not, but it's the real. Facts. I just went into a whole a whole real talk, man. I hope y'all enjoy it. But anyway, that's it. They're gonna wrap it up, man. I can stay out here all night, feel good tonight, too, in the rug and all of that. And uh Oh yeah, man. I got to, I got to shout out the wifey too, man. Wife hit a new PR on the deadly the other day, man. I want to shout out the wifey on that too, man. She she the truth. Matter of fact, I'm gonna throw that clip in here. I want y'all to see because me and wife work out all the time, man. She been working out cons consistently three years. Uh, actual training with me been a year, a full year now, and I pushed to net limit, which she been training herself, but I pushed her to start, you know. Like she like to get strong and stuff too. It's been with her year, but we deadlift and stuff. And uh, two two hundred twenty five pound man, that was kryptonite. I'm talking about two years, boy. Had him, could never get it, could never get it. So she finally deadlifted two twenty five for the first time uh, last year. She hit it, man. I was ecstatic, boy. I was overjoyed, cause I know how hard she had worked at it, and that jump would whoop her every time. She could never get out of the ground. 
Sometimes she liked the guy that, and I kept telling her, I said, it's up here mental, man. I said, once you get past that mental block and you do it, and I, I said, you're going to always be able to do it. It was more mental than anything. Weight training is a lot of mental. She finally did it. Now she pick up 225 every time. I said, I told you when you get past that mental, that mental block, you're going to be able to keep uh, accelerating and moving up. And, man, today, like I said, she hit 245 on the dead little man. She really could have did 250, but we had already did some sets. And, uh, you know, she, she used a lot of energy on that. So, like I said, uh, I want to throw that in there right now. So, yeah, y'all see, man, like I said, go show wife some love on her on channel Days with Kendra, man, or if you're on the Facebook, show her some love and stuff, man, tell her a good job and all that. Because, like I said, I'm proud of her, man. They, they were major. They were major. She proud of herself, too, hitting that two, pulling that 245 out of the ground, man. Real deal monster, man. Both of us. Both of us, man. So, yeah, that's it, man. So, I appreciate y'all. I'm going to catch y'all later, BCG. We out.